Hello and welcome to We Never Met, the podcast where I talk to an interesting stranger that I've never met before <laughs> for the first time. Um, today we have Ian Bennett, who is a Milwaukee Wave player and an entrepreneur. Um, how you doing, man? Good, man. Thanks for having me, man. This is kind of crazy. I, I really know. don't know you, but it's all good, though, <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, literally the first time we ever met. That's funny. Yeah, it was awesome. It was right now. Yeah. Um, so you play for the Wave. Is that how most people know you and come into contact with you yeah especially in milwaukee obviously yeah that's how they that's how they can find me that's how i think they see some of the highlights and, yeah, yeah yeah and all this stuff on social media and instagram twitter and all that good stuff but yeah um that's where they see me that's where they can find me right and, now and you've been doing that since 2009 yeah wow. man i'm <laughs> i'm getting old just- man but yeah i've been doing that since yeah so like uh i played two years obviously in chicago and, yeah. and that team folded and then uh uh, a guy named Keith Tozer, I'm sure everybody knows him. Uh, he called me and he's like, Ian, do you want to come to Milwaukee? And to be honest, I didn't even know there was a Milwaukee. I thought, oh, really? Uh, I, yeah, I always thought there was, I knew there was like Minnesota. Sure, sure. And all that stuff. I didn't know <laughs> Chicago. I didn't know anything was in between and all that good stuff. But yeah, once I came for a visit, I mean, I fell in love with the city, man. It's kind of just like my hometown. So I just, I just loved it and I've been here ever since. Yeah. So you are, you're from, you were born in Hamilton, which outside of Toronto, right? Yeah. Yeah. So. How is it growing up in Canada? Is it different there, like soccer wise? Yeah, yeah, soccer wise. I mean, obviously, we got to deal with the weather. It's kind of the same. <laughs> yeah, 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 for here. sure. Um, yeah. It's cold. But uh, no, it, it, honestly, it's like, it's kind of like it, it, Milwaukee, man. It's like blue collar, okay. um, just good people, man. I mean, yeah. I think the city is based on like good people in Hamilton. I think um, Milwaukee is kind of the same thing, Wisconsin. You know, it's uh, just got a good people. And obviously, you got your breweries. They yeah, like to drink, yeah. they like to eat their cheese. <laughs> yeah, it is kind of the same thing. Yeah, so yeah. it's like it's like Hamilton, you know, we like, we like uh, to have our fun. We have our little bars and all that good stuff. But yeah. It's made up about the people. I mean, I think that's what makes Hamilton amazing, and I think that's what makes Milwaukee amazing too. It's just the, yeah. the the people surrounding themselves. So, how young were you when you started playing soccer? Oh my gosh, man! I was like, really I young? think I was like four or five when I wow. first started. Yeah, yeah, I played when I was young. I mean, it's been always on. Like my dad was all into it. Okay. Um, and my mom too. So they all were just into it, and it's always been on, playing like uh, on the TV. And every time I was home and stuff, so I just kind of gravitated towards it. Does uh, Canada have a big soccer? community too like are they really into yeah it's massive it's it's like it's soccer and hockey oh yeah <laughs> and, and those lacrosse. are the two seasons yeah 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 so it's it's, it's kind of getting big as usual it's always been it's always been there um but now i think there it's really on a, a different level we got our league starting up uh, our own professional canadian professional league oh, so outside yeah. of the mls yeah outside oh. so yeah so we're, we're signing it's supposed to be launched i'm pretty sure maybe this summer or next year so yeah it's oh. we're doing big things man yeah, <laughs> canada's doing big things yeah that's, that's awesome is that to hopefully like try to build more domestic players too for their like international yep. yeah team. try to just build i mean we always have a lot of players playing foreign that you probably yeah. haven't heard of but um now i think they're just trying to get onto the stage with the americans and they're putting some they're pumping some money into it and we yeah. want to um because i think we're hosting right we're hosting the yeah, next yeah, world yeah, cup yeah. so i th- i think we want to definitely do good and and i think we can i think we got enough talent in canada but yeah. i think it's now to put on that big stage i think they're really pumping the money in and hopefully it goes well. Yeah. So you talked about your parents a little bit. Are they athletes too? Like, were they? Did they have a history of athletics? To yeah. Kind of so get my, you in? my dad's Jamaican. My sure. mom's Trinidadian. So they're island. They're island yeah, yeah, yeah. people. But yeah, yeah. yeah, my dad's played uh, for the Hamilton Steelers. He, he he's, oh, he's cool. played. Yeah, yeah. So he's he's been playing big time. He still plays. He's like sixteen. He's still running, man. That's it's awesome. hilarious. Yeah. My, my mom field hockey player. So, uh, yeah, yeah. So it's in, kind of in my blood. I can't take all the credit. I got to yeah. give them some credit. But, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, now nah, they had the makeup. Uh, it was good. They, they gave me all the tools and the genetics to, uh, to be able to perform at a high level. Yeah. So at what point, because I'm assuming you, because you played soccer in college, right? Yeah. I went that to was outdoor Marin though. Universe. Yeah. Right? Outdoor, yeah. Um, so when did you make the transition to play indoor soccer? So it was crazy. So Marion University, I played there four years. Man, it was an amazing experience. Me actually living on my, on my own. Is I'm a mama's in, boy. Uh, Indianapolis, Indiana. Okay. Right by Butler. Oh, yeah. My sister went there. Oh, right on. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. So I went there. I got drafted to Charleston. Oh. Yeah, Charleston Battery. Played one season there. Then ended up going to Richmond. But I was like, what do I do in the off season? And yeah, And that's yeah. when they're like, well, you can play indoor soccer. You can get a job or you can just yeah. hang out. So I was like, ah, let me let me test out this indoor scene, and I yeah. loved it, you know. And then um, I just fell in love with it, and, uh, and then I went to Rochester, and then I had to kind of pick. It's like either do I do the outdoor thing or do I do the indoor thing? Sure. 
Um, and at that time, I was having a kid. I was having yeah. my, my daughter. So that's when I was like, you know what? I got to stay close to home. Yeah. Let's just uh, let's just do this indoor thing and see where we can take it. Yeah, because that actually someone submitted this question, but like all the moving around, like how does how do you deal with that? Dude, you know, is it is it intense? It's him. It's nuts, man. It's like getting up every like I mean six months. Probably the seasons are six or seven, and then yeah, you're picking up every every time. And I honestly, I got sick of it because it's just like. You really can't accumulate anything. You can't really set roots because sure. you got to pack light, right? Yeah, you yeah. Gone to the next season, yeah. so it was kind of cool at the start, but then it kind of weighs on you a little sure. bit when you're just moving different places, trying to set up. And then once you finally set up and have all your swag sure, and all your yeah, funk yeah, yeah. swag going on, then you got to pick up and move. So that was kind of getting annoying. Um, but that, I mean, but that comes with the territory, right? If yeah. you want to do it. Yeah. So, um, what was your favorite place that you've played oh so my far gosh. or been to? Uh, I'm honestly like, so Charleston was really fun with the weather. And sure. Yeah. Yeah. It was yeah. Great. yeah. Richmond was good too. Again, um, Rochester's been, Rochester was good, but to be honest, I, I think Milwaukee's just been, it's been great. And I think that's yeah. why I stayed there. You know, I just think it's, it's been awesome. Like the, the fest, the festivals in the summer, <laughs> like every that. weekend. Yeah, yeah, man. And it's, they just like to have fun. I mean, and again, it's so cold here. So once the summer hits that weather, <laughs> yeah. everyone's right. outside. outside. So, yeah. yeah. So I think that's what makes it great. And even in the winter, these guys still find their, um, their ways to get out. Yeah. Um, so I guess for you, what is the difference between indoor and outdoor? Like, what do you like about each of them? Because you played both, so yeah. So like outdoor, I mean that's I mean that's the real game. Yeah. Um, I mean that it's just different tendencies. So huge thing you could probably ask everybody yeah. is the fitness. Okay, it's like different. So you're going hard a minute, two minutes in indoor. Yeah. Outdoor, you get to relax. You get to jog. You yeah, get yeah, to yeah. walk a little bit. Yeah. You kind of got that. Um, but. Indoors, like, I mean, you got basketball, soccer, and hockey rolled into yeah. one. Soccer's, you know, you got your, you, you got your more concentration in the final third because obviously if you miss, yeah. the ball's not coming back. You yeah, know, yeah, it's yeah, a goal yeah. kick. It yeah. might go for a corner. Um, indoor, if you miss, you can get the rebound yeah. and score. So yeah, yeah. it's a little, a little, a little hectic at some times, but um, I think they're both great sports and I think they're both great, uh, aspects of soccer you know because is indoor now do they have an international kind of do they have teams for that like, so yeah now they're starting obviously we, we start so like we had our world cup i mean i think it was like two years ago so yeah, yeah so they're starting that on that big stage and arena soccer is just it's getting big i mean you just yeah. seen landon donovan i know i was just gonna talk to you about that yeah. d rose playing in, in mississauga hopefully he shows up uh tonight hopefully yeah. he's there but i don't know if he's traveling but yeah so i think i think just promoting the game and getting it out there i think you know, you're going to get hooked. And I'm telling you, once you go to one game, you'll be hooked. You'll be yeah. coming back for, for years and years. Yeah, so how do you feel about that, Landon Donovan signing? You guys could eventually play him in the, in the playoffs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hopefully, yeah. I mean, I think, I think I mean, Dan, Landon has just been, he's fantastic. I mean, yeah. he, he was my favorite player growing up, too, one of my favorite players. Um, And I think just to play against him, I think he's got some in the tank. Ho ho yeah. Hopefully, we'll just see what he does, you know. It yeah. just depends what... You're going to get, you know? Yeah, because, I mean, it, it is different. Like, as you said, you know, the fitness level and things like that can be different. So do you think it was more of a move to just, like, get more fans there? Or do you think he's actually really interested? Well, yeah, I think, I mean, everyone wants to come see Landon, so Landon Donovan. So, I yeah. mean, if he's in if he's in uniform, I, to be honest, that's enough for me. Yeah, I'm I mean, I'm, go, I'm going. If, he, <laughs> yeah. if he's warming up, I'm there. So yeah. uh, just to see him kick a ball in real life and if he can get some shifts in and he and he wants to play, I think that's going to be great. But, yeah, I, I mean, he's a professional. He's a pro. He knows yeah. what he's doing. He's he's a boss, man. He, he seems to dabble a lot into different things. He's like one, one year he'll, he'll go back and play uh, outdoor and then he'll, like, do some announcing. And then yeah. now he'll go indoor. And he's I like love all that about him because yeah. he, he, he's, he's enjoying life. You know, yeah. that's how it should be, you know. Yeah. like, And I think that's great, right? He took that thing where he was out in Africa, right? Wasn't yeah, it? yeah, yeah. Yeah, so he, he's good do man yeah so what are your other like what do you else you have your clothing oh my gosh. Yeah. so yeah so i got so i coach obviously for for the fc waukesha which wave yeah. is a part now um and then i got obviously ib26 clothing line yeah then i started with me and my brother the benetti watches oh yeah so yeah so we're making some moves it's man. all different it's all yeah. very different and like, then we got the podcast i think yeah my podcast coming up so yeah we're yeah. in the works man we're, we're doing some big things so for you, how was that different? Like, how did the development of your brand, like, how was that process? Like, did you just kind of sketch up something? No. So the process was, it was, it was honestly, it was a dream of mine, but I have always said I had to do the work first, right? Yeah, so yeah. I had to put the groundwork. I can't, I didn't want to be that guy that, 
you know, was okay at a soccer at soccer and just didn't build the fan base. Oh yeah, I'm gonna start my clothing. Like, no, I had to put the work yeah, yeah, in. Yeah. Had to kind of get my message across and and doing all that stuff with my speed and agility class, what I do with Regan and all that stuff. Yeah. So I just wanted to make a, a nice following and, and show the people that what I'm really about, right? Instead yeah. of because I want them to believe in me and sure. I want them to believe in my message instead of just saying, oh, like I want to sell these shirts. It's not sure. about that, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's not a. It's definitely. Um, it's about inspired greatness. That that's my hashtag, inspired greatness. Yep. With my clothing line. So like it's being great within yourself, whatever you do. It's if you're sure. an athlete, if you're a musician, if you're an artist, if whatever you do, can you be the best? And then can you inspire people too? So it's not just yourself. Can you sure. pass it along and stuff and, and, and kind of promote? Because in this day in t- day and time, man, we need some more positivity. We need For more sure. love, man. We yeah. need. So that's what I try to do. And, and I think once I got to that stage, I was like, you know what? I was like, that's it. It's, yeah. it's, it's ready. I'm, I'm at a high time. At, I'm peaking. I'm tearing it up, you know, in yeah. the community and on the field. So I was like, Let, let's do it, you know? Yeah. What I, I've never heard of people like making watches before or like doing that yeah. as a brand. Is that tough? I yeah, feel it's, like- my brother did it. He started like, I think it was what, like three years ago. He's like, Ian, I want to come over to watch. I'm like, to be honest, <laughs> you can do it. Like, yeah. I like wearing them, yeah, yeah, you know? Yeah, like, yeah. But like, I just designing, how are you going to like, I mean, there's so many big watch companies like, how are you going to make something different or sure, make something yeah. unique? And he came out with it. And I'm like, I mean, it has been years in the making. And yeah, he, did, he did a great job, man. It looks fantastic. Yeah, I've seen some of them. Yeah. They're like really sharp watches. Yeah, he, every t- everyone he sold and I get, um, we give, they like fantastic. It's their speechless. So yeah, he did a great job, man. Kudos to him. So yeah, he did a great job. Yeah, so what is, you talked about coaching a little bit. How is that different for you than than playing? Yeah, I, I, I honestly, I love it. Because first thing, I give back. Yeah. Because I feel like, you know, I, I've, I've learned a lot. I've been coached by a lot of great coaches. Yeah. And I feel like I can give back in that state. So I feel like I have to do it too. Like it's, I, yeah. I, I have to do it. I have to give back. I have to give them some tips. Because, I mean, you're not going to reach everybody. But if I can reach um, one or three two players that could really go to the next level. Like yeah. that's, that's what I'll, I'll be happy with. And I obviously I coach my daughter's team yeah. and they're, they're pretty good. These girls can play. Yeah. Um, but no, I love it. It's, it's an enjoyment for me. You know, I, and I have fun with it. You know, I don't take it too serious, but yeah, we, I gotta make sure these kids are disciplined. They put the work in sure. and, and let them know that if you can put the work in, you can achieve whatever yeah. you want. Right. But you got to put that groundwork in. So I, I like doing that a lot. Is, is coaching just, there's a lot more like back end stuff. Like, I, I, cause I, I've never played soccer. No, it, so it, yeah. I like, I, is it like drawing formations and plays and like figuring out how you're going to play in style? No, it's honestly, it's just developing these kids. Okay. Yeah. So it's like skill work, um, just teaching them the game. Yeah. Um, and just making sure they're good people on and off the field. That's sure. how we kind of, that's how I kind of do it. And that's how I kind of, I take it more than soccer where they're, I want these kids to be good kids, yeah, you know, cause they're a little brat sure. sometimes, right? You know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and yeah. for an hour and a half, you know, the parents are probably like, Ian, please help me out with like, you know, <laughs> yeah, so like, I need a break. Yeah. So that's what I try to instill with them. Like, it's not just soccer. It's like, even cause you, you might not make it to the pro level, you yeah. know, you might only play in high school. You might only play in college, but I try to make sure that these guys are good kids and they're learning something and they're disciplined. Cause with that's it. forever. You, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So that's hopefully they can look back and be like, you know what, man, Ian was a tough coach or maybe he made me run, but he instilled that hard work, that drive in me Yeah. where I can do more, you know? So yeah. Is that something that you want to continue to do? Like even past when you're playing is to keep coaching and to keep doing that. Kind yeah, of stuff? I have to, man. I, yeah. I, like, I always say like, man, I just want to break. Cause I don't want to always be that soccer guy. Like I don't want people to be like, Oh, Ian, He's just that soccer guy. I feel like I can do more. Yeah, I want to sure. do more. Um, but yeah, I definitely, I'll always be coaching definitely the youth. So that way I can get back to them. Yeah, that's great. Is uh, is there a team out there that you've always like dreamed of playing like that? If there's one team that would sign you like today. Oh my gosh, man. Come on. Any. That's easy. That's easy. That's oh, Manchester United, oh, man. Really? Oh my gosh. I bleed red, man. Yeah. I'm, I'm a diehard. Yeah. Like I love that squad, man. They've always been a team. My mom liked them and my mom grew me up on those guys. Okay. Um, and I just always loved them, man. Beckham. Yeah. You know, I always think I'm the black Beckham, but geez, I'm, <laughs> I got to get there. But no, like, I love it. No, I just, I love that team. I love what they're about, the, the way they play, their passion. Yeah. They work hard. They, they're they so technical. They're so skilled. Um, But yet they play with so much heart and passion. That's what I've always loved about Manchester United. Yeah. I think, so just even going back to you growing up, yeah. um, you also play 
uh, or have played. Also, I side yeah. question here. When I was looking you up, did you write a book like a children? No, that's, no. Is that another Ian well, Bennett? Dude, we're, no, that's another Ian. But we're in the process of doing a children's book. Get out of here, dude. That's why I was like laughing. It's I'm so like, serendipitous. I'm, yeah, I'm like, huh, does this guy know me? How does he know like what we're doing? <laughs> is he watching? Yeah, what I'm, right? doing? I'm like, who are you talking to? Because like, yeah, no, I sent. We got something in the works that too. So hopefully that comes out. But yeah, children's book we that's got a kind really of little awesome. series hopefully crossing my fingers but i we, i did the first one and hopefully they're picking it apart and see hopefully yeah. we have something there or they're like yeah just stick to soccer man. just <laughs> stick to soccer stop writing books and stuff but yeah yeah that, that's why i want to venture off but yeah like uh we're trying to do that in the world that's too. crazy yeah, there's just another ian bennett that wrote a children's yeah, book i guess i guess yeah i was like but we're starting it we're trying so wow is there like what's the premise for the book or anything can you say anything like that or? yeah i could say the premise okay. is just about a kid that um kind of like the history of the soccer ball we kind of turned it into like a kind of a kid's story oh okay and then we're gonna kind of the history of the jersey history of the soccer shoes and, yeah that's awesome. yeah we're kind of doing that so we'll see the play on it hopefully no one takes that idea but <laughs> yeah. nah, they won't uh they yeah. won't do it as how i have to bleep out that whole yeah, part yeah no nah, no nah, it's <laughs> yeah. all good no nah, no nah. um so with going down that kind of route, what is uh? Do you draw the illustration, or do you have someone else? No, I'm gonna get everyone. I so I just came up with the kind of the premises for the book, sure. kind of the idea of how I want yeah, story. Yeah, yeah. So I wrote it, and then obviously someone's gonna have to come in do the pictures, and someone's gonna probably have to clean it up too, and say like, Ian, maybe we we'll go this direction. Sure. But as long as my message is across, yeah, um, I think it'll be good. Yeah, that's that's awesome though. Yeah, it's so weird that that is happening now. And I was a- dying laughing when I saw the question. You're like. <laughs> I was like, man, how's how this guy? Who's he talking to? All my know? people, yeah. yeah he's it's knows. a good investigator, man. I gotta keep tight. <laughs> yeah. Um, but you also have played on an international level for Canada, right? You played, Dude, yeah. Um, beach soccer, beach, yeah, futsal. Um, didn't get outside. Probably that's the only thing I really wish I could have yeah, made yeah, the yeah. get a cap at least. But no, nah, but it was good. Like the the international stage, man. man if, if you ever get time to like go on a trip, it's yeah. crazy, man. Just how it's so serious, you know? Like yeah, some I of the stuff is like even like the hilarious stuff your tights your yeah. tights have to be the same color and, and all that stuff and it's yeah. like conca calf is is no joke man they're all serious about yeah. everything you got. i'm coming in with my chains and my earrings they're like Ian, what are you doing i'm like geez really guys yeah. it's like yeah it's cutthroat the tape's got to be the same color so that stuff it, and then that's when i think you fully you're like okay this is a big time this is international yeah. this is where i'm representing my my country yeah like this is no joke right and i think that's when you when you first get here, you go into those meetings and you hear your player conduct, how you got to be sure. on social media. You can't write anything mm-hmm. crazy and it makes you grow up and it's like, okay, like this is no joke. This, this is, is for real. Yeah, yeah. Like you can't, cause you can get in trouble. You can get sent for home. Sure. Like if you write, if you tweet out Instagram, something bad or yeah. you tweet something, they can send you home, man. And you're done. And you probably might not get a call back even if you're a really that's good intense. player. Yeah, yeah. So that's what you got to watch out, you know? And then especially when you do interviews, you got to make sure you're on point, right? You can't yeah. say anything stupid. Um, cause again, the coach, We'll send you home, or if they think you're making Team Canada look bad again, they can get the call and be like, "Yo, we want this guy gone. He's acting like a fool." So it's yeah. crazy, man, on that level. So yeah, I was just watching uh, the Netflix Sunderland Till I Die. Have you seen that, dude? I'm on the last two episodes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm watching. It's crazy, right? Yeah, it's nuts. They, they're so passionate, and that's what I love about those fans are right? really intense. It's crazy, yeah. They had to bleep out some stuff, and all like, oh, they're letting some stuff go too. Yeah. But yeah, that's a great. If anyone could watch it, that's 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 spot on, right there. Yeah, that's really intense. Yeah. And that that kind of uh, illustrates what you're talking about too. With like that, there at the beginning, there was that one guy who was like, uh, especially with like mobile phones now, you can get recorded. And he was right? at a bar like trashing someone, the team. Someone, yeah, someone yeah. was talking bad about the players and like. Yeah, he uh, that was crazy, and he got to stay on. But again, like stuff like that, yeah. they're looking to move you if you do stuff like that. So I think people nowadays, you know how it is. Oh man. yeah, you got everybody watching. Everyone's got camera phones. Everyone's yeah. got all the technology and all that stuff, which is good, but also could be a curse too. Right? Yeah, it's it's positive for positive things, yeah. you know. But there's people out there that try to provoke you intentionally and to try to get it on camera for sure. Definitely, and it's tough, man. Yeah, it, it, you just got to be aware. But again, if you live true, if you if you're real and I mean, you'll be fine, you know? Yeah. Because yeah. you can't live on eggshells, right? You, <laughs> yeah, you yeah, you're walking out. Yeah. Don't talk to me. I yeah, can't. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, and I'm not perfect. Hands yeah. by any means, I'll make a ton of mistakes. But as long as I apologize for them and move on and, and not and just try to be a good, genuine guy, I think people will definitely will see that. Yeah, so with uh, beach soccer, is that that's in, that's intense, man. Dude, that looks beach, so, dude, so hard. Was, and I got asthma, too. So beach soccer, yeah. was, it was a trip, but... 
Like, yeah, it was cool. It was hot. I'm like, I'm like, it's hot. The sand's hot. Yeah. I've never been on a surface where I had to deal with so many elements. Because you know when it's hot, yeah, yeah you got to drink some more water. Sure. It's crazy. But then when you're dealing with the sand, you're like, well, wait a minute. I know it's hot. But then my feet are getting hot. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, what are we doing, guys? So you got to keep moving, right? Yeah. yeah. And, and again, if you ever ran in the sand when you're on the beach, it's tough, man. It's, it is real it's, tough. It's no joke. So, But again, another experience of soccer I, I've, I always say, like, I've played every form yeah. of soccer yeah, you yeah. can pick. Like, yeah. Um, but I loved it. It was a great experience. Um, I got to captain that team. Um, yeah, and it was awesome. You know, we did pretty good. So I, I loved it. And if I get called again, I'd love it. Because so, that's, that's a different skill set kind of, though. Because I've, I've watched um, some beach soccer, and it's, like, almost like you got to keep the ball out of the sand. Yeah, like, more controlled, more touches, more uh, technical ability to juggle and keep it up and really hitting volleys and, and your timing. So I think is, is real huge. Um, and, again, but everything comes down to your work rate, too. Again, sure. if, you, if you can't work, you don't want to work, you're going to struggle. Yeah. Um, is there a, a time or a moment from playing internationally that you can think of that, like, was your favorite moment that – that happened like playing for Canada oh yeah when we qualified uh and two guys are two guys are on my team now from that team where we, oh really where we qualified we had to beat um we had to beat the United States oh really <laughs> I hate to say it guys but uh <laughs> now we beat the United States to get through and uh it was awesome because it was either us or them yeah. going through for the qualifiers and uh we ended up qualifying so that was that was fantastic man it was it was a tough game I think we ended up winning by one but uh, yeah, yeah, it was a tough game. It was also because I obviously I have a ton of buddies that play yeah. on the U.S. national team too, and it was it was a battle, man. But we can I can honestly have that over them when I see them. You know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we got you <laughs> yeah, guys. Got you. So it feels good. But yeah, that was that was probably the biggest moment. So uh, as far as the wave, like you guys are pretty consistently really good. You yeah. know, you were you were in the playoffs last year. Your first place in your division last year. Your first place right now. Yep. What do you think the consistency? comes down to as far as you guys as a team yeah our coaching staff you know yeah. Juliano right now is he's he's been a great guy I've played with him yeah um he's been in the trenches with me we've won championships and now him taking over the coaching role got so much respect for him you know I, I work so hard for him because yeah. I think just he gets it you know he's been there in the tough times when he's been sweating beside me yeah so I think he understands it um but he's just he's just been a fantastic coach you know um and he, and again he's still that from I think Keith Tozer too so we've always been a blue collar team though we've always sure. been like great players great skill level but I think we've always put the work in and I think that's why we're always so consistent up top all yeah. the time and we're always in first place but to get over that hump I think we uh we got to get it done this year and I and I think we will I believe we will yeah, did you guys have any dark seasons where it was pretty bad? Like you guys were, because I grew up in Milwaukee, so <laughs> yeah. I've I've known the wave forever. Yeah, you know, um, has there been bad ones though? Yeah, I think when he first came, I think when when he first got the job, I think uh, yeah, just the personnel. I think we were coming in a transition where sure. we had a lot of older players and a lot of them retired, mm -hmm. so it was kind of a new crop, a new just learning the system and stuff. So we kind of struggled that first year. Um, but I mean, that's what you had to go through. It was still, yeah. it was still great. I mean, because it's still, you still learn stuff about yourself and about the team and what you have to do. But yeah, that was that was a dark time. It was kind of like, are we ever gonna win? And then I was yeah. a free agent. Okay. And I was like, geez, right? So yeah. coming off a of losing season, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and then yeah. you're kind of like, uh, we kind of lost in the semis, I believe. Okay. Um, and then you're like, what do I do? Do I still do I yeah. stay or do I I go and. I was like, nah, I got to set roots here. So Yeah, and that, that kind of leads me to asking, like, has having kids and, like, having a family, has that changed your perspective on soccer and, like, what, you, what yeah. you're doing? Yeah, yeah. no, it honestly probably saved me because oh, we, really? we go out a lot, we party a lot, but not, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. so now I don't. But, yeah. no, nah, they put everything in perspective, I think, for me. I think now it's like, you know, I want them to – See that their dad. I want them to be like, oh man, you're Ian Bennett's dad. You're, yeah, he's yeah. your dad. He, he tears it up. He's a beast. Yeah, yeah. So I kind of I'm on that level where I want to make sure I I'm always working harder and I'm always doing good and being a positive example. Because now they, you know, if I do anything bad, I mean they get the backlash sure. of it too. So I think that goes hand in hand. But um, no, as my career has been going, I I think it's been great and I, I've been having the ability to move them in yeah. now. So they obviously they've been here now with me for what I think three years now. Okay. So they've. They go to all the games. They yeah. go to all the stuff, and I get to coach them now too. So it's been no, it's been great. It's been um, it's been amazing to see them grow. How old are they? Oh my gosh, eleven and eight. Eleven and eight. Yeah. So, so. The, my eleven year old is, to be honest, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna brag, but she's awesome. She's perfect. She's yeah. Good. But the eight year old, I'm gonna be real. 
this monster, man. I don't really? know what I'm going to do. I don't know. How, like she, hyper running around. Hyper. Yeah. And like, I can't get mad because I'm hyper. Yeah. So like, but like, it, it, she's hyper. Like I'm, I come home from practice. Yeah. She gets home from school. She's just ready to go. And I'm like, dude, aren't you tired? Like, don't yeah. you need a break? You've been doing she, something all day. Yeah. yeah. And, and then I keep thinking, sometimes she drives me crazy. But then I'm like, dude, I'm, that's me. Yeah. That was yeah. me. Yeah. When the, and my mom just was here for like three weeks. And she's like, Ian. I know you're getting mad, but that that was you, dude. That's, that's what I you. dealt with. Yeah, that's yeah. what I dealt with. I'm like, for real? The girl's jumping around. She's dancing. She won't stop. But, I mean, I love her to death. Yeah. She's just a handful, dude. She's just a handful, but she's awesome. Yeah, is that – so that's how you kind of were when you were growing up? You just all over the place? Hands down. You couldn't – like, everyone's like, Ian, don't you have asthma? I'm like, yeah, it's crazy. They're like, you don't but stop. But I can't stop. Yeah, like, how do you need a break? Do you need a sip of water? I'm like, geez, but – no, nah, but it's cool. Man. I don't know what it's in me, man. <laughs> yeah. I got I got warm blood in here. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, because I was reading about that. You 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 do have asthma yeah. and stuff. And how did when when did you get like diagnosed with that? So it was like I think it was like five or six. Wow. Early. So like yeah, we were. It was funny, man. We were at like I don't know. We were like making beds. Like so, we we're in this country place and we we're using hay. Sure. And we we're like making beds, right? Yeah. And my mom was on the trip, so I was. Long, I don't know if I was like in preschool or what. I don't know if she took me or whatever. Yeah. But I'm making these beds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, and I start. I'm looking at my buddy. My buddy's like, "What do you like? You can't breathe a little bit." I'm like, "I'm struggling." So I'm gasping. <laughs> yeah, so I stop yeah. making this bed, and, and I don't know if my mom thought I was being lazy and like I yeah. didn't want to do it. And I just was like, I couldn't breathe, and she's yeah. like, "What are you? Are you good?" I'm like, I don't, <laughs> I don't know, so. right? So then she rushed me to the hospital. Oh, they gave me oxygen and all yeah. that good stuff. And they're like, yeah, your son's got asthma. Wow. So that's when I was kind of like, okay. And and it's funny now you see when I'm coaching, but yeah. um, she's like, well, I'm thinking I can't play sports. Sure, I can't do yeah. whatever. Parents are like, my parents never, which is, I, I love them to this day for that. They never u- let me use asthma as a crutch. Okay. They never said, oh, your asthma, you got to take it easy. No, these guys pushed me. They're going to like, we're going to talk to the doctors. We're going to get you on the best meds. We're going to see yeah. what we can do. Um, and at the time, I mean, I was taking three things, right? Yeah. I was taking something during the day, at night. Sure. Um, and I've always had the rescue inhalers and all that stuff. And yeah. they made me, they pushed me, man. They said, no, we're going to, you're going to keep playing. If you don't want to, that's on you, but we're going to push you. You're going to play, you're going to play football, you're going to play soccer. Yeah. You're going to do all that stuff. And, and, and I overcame it, but I still, man, I'm still on two things today yeah, yeah, to yeah. play, but, but yeah, I love it. I wouldn't change the world, you know? And, Those and are I, good parents, Yeah, though. they're great, because I see some parents when I'm coaching or doing wave camps, and they're like, Ian, um, my son's got asthma, so make sure you, uh, he takes it easy, and I'm, I'm looking, and I'm like, well, is he on his inhalers? He's got his meds? He's yeah. talks to his doctor? They're like, yeah. So I'm like, oh, and then and then I re- and then I'll see the kid kind of like it's getting tough a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Nothing dangerous where sure. it's getting, but it's getting tough, and he's kind of like, yeah, I, I got to sit out. I got asthma, and I kind of like, dude, I have asthma. So yeah, don't let that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. so don't let that be kind of define you and let it be your crutch.